beloved one i hope you are doing well i want us to take a short reading from the book of psalms chapter 127 it says if god's grace doesn't help the builders they will labor in vain to build a house if god's mercy doesn't protect the city all the centuries will circle it in vain it's really a senseless to work so hard from morning till late at night toiling to make a living for fear of not having enough now god can provide i want you to see this it says god can provide for his devoted lovers even while they sleep now this tells us of the great things that we enjoy anytime we come into God's presence. It tells us of the blessings we enjoy anytime we are with God. And then we can do this through prayer, through the Word of God, and even as we are about listening to this. So I want us to do something. We are going to like this video. So then please hit on the like button if you have not done so. This helps YouTube recommend this video out there to anyone so everyone can have access to it also by doing this you help in the spread of the gospel and of the good work of this channel then don't forget to leave a comment in that comment section hit on that subscribe button if you haven't done so and you are new here and then get on to the notification bell and do us the favor of tapping on it too you were blessed son. stay blessed Father, we bless you. The words that you speak can turn things around. The words that you speak can turn things around. The words that you speak can turn lives around. The words that you speak can turn situations around. The words that you speak can turn destinies around. Lift your voice and acknowledge him. The God who owns that voice that can turn things around. Seke parataka paradise peridia. Go ahead and speak in other tongues. Bless you. Seke baros habaria kabaros kanabaria. The words that you speak can turn things around. The words that you speak can turn barrenness around. The words that you speak can turn infirmities around. Are you blessing him? Go ahead. All those following us online, bless him. Scattered around this nation and the nations of the world, bless him. I just want you to sing that part of the song that says the words you speak can turn things around. The words you speak turn things around. Go out straight up. Father, tonight is my night of testimony. Lift your voice and pray. 
tonight must be my night of testimony. I place a demand on your grace. I place a demand on your wisdom. I place a demand on your ability. Are you praying? Tonight must be my night of dramatic testimony. The words that you speak can turn things around. I trust you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'd like you to walk up to two or three people and tell them your life is about to change dramatically. Prophesy. Outside, make sure you participate. Those online, participate. Your life is about to change dramatically. Say it like you're not joking. Your life is about to change dramatically. Hallelujah. Please be seated. God bless you. Good evening, everyone. Amen. Welcome to our miracle service. This is miracle service for September. And prophetically and very strangely, we're doing it in October. When God begins to move like this, it's important that our spirits are open to discern what it is that he's saying. There are no mistakes with him. It is only when our perceptions are not clear enough to receive. It may look like a coincidence, but in every working of God, there is wisdom. Hallelujah. So I welcome every one of us, those inside, outside. Thank you so much for coming. Those who have come from far, you will never be disappointed. And all those following us online, on all our media platforms, we welcome you. You are part of us. Let your heart be open in the name of Jesus. Pay attention to the word. Oftentimes when people come, um, they just want to begin to see manifestation, prophecy, and so on and so forth. But every time you come before god it's important that you listen to the word the bible says they came to jesus to hear and be healed to hear and be healed it's only a herbalist who constructs charms and doesn't care whether or not you are participating in the process at the end of it he hands you a leaf with substances and says go it is done but with god there must be participation i want to charge us very briefly before we begin to pray there's a lot that god will do tonight and um i want us to conserve time i'm seeing how that we can finish on time in fact much more than we have we have been doing in the miracle services and i ask god for grace and so his grace is sufficient for us tonight amen i trust god for a very quick walk and please let's cooperate with what he wants to do so that we can live here on time praise god i want to speak um very briefly to encourage our hearts and to remind us on the integrity of god's word the integrity the dependability the reliability of god's word when it comes to exploits in the kingdom please listen the principal channel, listen to me please, the principal channel for receiving the miraculous is faith. The principal channel for participating in the miraculous is faith. Are we together now? And your faith is inactive until the word of God brings it alive. And so I want you to please pay attention. There are so many believers who expect God to step in and bring healing, miracles. I was so touched whilst the testimonies were being shared. And, um, but they're not surprised, only grateful. I would be surprised if I were the doer. Are we together? The integrity of God's word. The Bible has this to say. It says heaven and earth, listen, shall pass away. Heaven and earth shall pass away. You know why they will pass away? Because the word created them both. Are we together? Heaven and earth shall pass away. But the word of the Lord abides forever. 
the principal channel for committing God to perform in your life is the word of God please listen the principal channel for committing God is not your tears your tears move God but they cannot commit him your lamentation can move God the Bible says for we do not have a high priest who has not been touched with the feelings of our infirmity but being touched is not the same as responding to it the only channel that can commit God's integrity to bring him to the scene to perform on your behalf is the Word of God I need you to understand this not a man of God he may only be a vehicle but the principal channel for committing God is the Word of God whenever we talk about faith it is simply the vehicle that gives the Word of God expression and I'll just charge us a little it's important for us to know that the Word of God can be trusted the scripture that we read this Bible look up please this Bible that we read the Bible says it was inspired of the Holy Ghost are we together holy men wrote it as they were moved by the Spirit so regardless of the imperfection of the translators regardless of the imperfection of the writers the sovereignty of God still vetoes their imperfection and makes this word capable of producing results when believed and acted upon are we together your faith every time in scripture Jesus would challenge the faith of the recipients Jesus never told anyone you have asked a hard thing it was Elijah who told his son in the gospel you have asked a hard thing it is possible but Jesus will only ask them believest thou thy faith has given this to you let me give you a very interesting definition of faith that I got from Bishop Oedipo and uh, this this is one of his most recent definitions and it is absolutely powerful this is what he said faith is sharing responsibilities with God in the light of his word so as to get your desired result faith is sharing responsibilities with God as defined or in the light of his word so as to get your desired result shared responsibility shared responsibility there is a path to your miracle listen please that depends on God that is exclusively left to his wisdom and power and sovereignty but there is a path to the delivery and the manifestation of your miracle that depends on an operation you must do so many believers want to receive from God listen please we come to God but we approach God as though approaching an idol hoping that he will perform some magic no there are spiritual dynamics to reception your faith your faith your faith your faith we have a series on that and we're going to start that series next week I'm going to be sharing with you some deep dynamics about faith because it's important for us to get results results are predictable say it after me one more time results are predictable there is there is a there is a technology there is a system of predictability to results that's why we're gathered here tonight we're not gathered to some kind of haphazard trial and error I know you will be blessed I know you will be healed it's not pride it's the truth there is a formula for this I know your life will change I know that demon will leave your life forever I know you will walk out of here with breakthrough that will bring tears to your eyes but there is a system there is a system please brothers and sisters imagine imagine for one minute that you go to the hospital listen you go to the hospital with your pregnant wife about to give birth and the doctor tells you that look 
this name doctor is just there oh, let me just confess i'm not exactly sure let's trust god and see what will happen and your wife is crying and saying i'm losing my life how would you love such a doctor and you ask him who gave you that title that you put in front of your name because the title is an implication hmm. are we together the title is an implication the title means you were certified the title means you went through rigorous seasons that trained your mind to be intelligent on that wise now that's when when god names a meeting it's an implication if he calls it a miracle service it means he sat down and sat within himself if he had the power to back up that name god never speaks until he looks at himself and finds out whether it is within his ability to back up what he has said if he called it a miracle service then that is a miracle service indeed it has never been about the inability of god to step into people's lives please listen there is no case represented here today that is above and beyond the power of god to step in no you would be lying are we together you know sometimes the mountains that stand before us and trust me i'm human there are mountains that can stand before people but you see that mountain remains only as big as your inability to trust god makes it look there are mountains it says time will fail me to talk of gideon and jephthah and barak men who through faith subdued kingdoms not cities kingdoms so the foundation the foundation please listen the foundation for biblical faith is an encounter with the word of god you must find out what he has said about the issue of concern that is step one to commit him more on that during the faith series but it is important you have no right to lay any claims on anything you have not searched out because god limits himself to the provisions that his word can afford hear me whatever the word of god can afford god can provide it did you hear me whatever the word of god can afford god can pay for it whatever the word of god can afford it is within the sovereign power of god to pay for it your first assignment is to find out i've been barren for eight years they said i have no fallopian tube thank you doctors but they are practicing and you come to the word of god and check and then the bible says your marriage shall be a blessing it says your children not even a child surround your table now the next thing is whose report will you believe are we together the trouble is we do not meditate on the word to a point of restful persuasion restful persuasion but i know whom i have believed and i am persuaded you don't read the bible like a novel no the entrance of your word eventually as you pay attention to the word let me tell you i know what i'm saying believe me when you study scripture with all your heart an activity of the holy ghost begins to happen from those letters through your eyes into your spirit from those letters through your eyes through your ears into your spirit he says so then faith comes by hearing and understanding by the word of god it's not just hearing it's not just seeing when you discover the promises the prophecies the provision your next assignment is to meditate upon the word to get to a point of restful persuasion persuasion that says if i perish i perish but i found it 
I found my bailout. I found it. Oh, they say I must uh, this and that and that and that. I cannot have a child. I've tried. I've been having miscarriages. Oh, men of God have prayed for me. They are not herbalists. Get to the word. Get to the word. Father, this is your word. I commit you. Prophet Isaiah in chapter 38 moved by the Holy Ghost went to Hezekiah and said put your house in order you will not recover from this sickness Isaiah was a major prophet when a major man of God with a track record speaks to you it's almost like a done deal but a man used the word of God to change prophecy Art. the words you speak turn things help me that the word of God can veto any prophecy any enchantment any pronouncement yes they said it but I change it yes they said everybody in my family is SS but I found a provision there is a bailout mystery I can't die AS I can't die SS it is within my power to change it let me tell you there is nobody that prophesies a nonsense destiny to me I have worked with God enough to know that the keys are in the hands of a man Hezekiah turned his face and said oh God remember my sacrifices is it not your word that 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 says how that they that give you know paraphrasing that he will remember you in the day of trouble and remember your sacrifice i have given to your house why should i die like a chicken no assumption you must bring your strong reasons no assumption you assume you will die like a chicken you must bring your your strong reason don't say even god knows as i hear you say as I hear you say, many believers want things to happen. Let me tell you something. Faith is hard work. Are you hearing what I'm saying? You've got to find it and sit down until the word of God superimposes your doubt. I know there is a rent of 500,000 to pay. The rent is not in the spirit. The landlord is alive. I know. I know statistics says that there are no jobs in Nigeria. I know there is recession in Nigeria. But when you find it in the word. Now listen. When you find it in the word. And meditate. Let me tell you what meditation does. Here's how you know you are finished meditating. You are finished meditating the moment you discover your role. When you discover the part you have to play. You have finished your meditation. You meditate until you find it. Good master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? Not will you give me. What is my part? Good master, what is my part? Lord, what is my part to be healed? Oh God, will you heal me? That's wrong prayer. That's immature spiritual communication. What is my role? It is within your power. Good master, what shall I do? To inherit eternal life and jesus didn't say no 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 eternal life is cheap no as cheap as salvation is there is still a role you have to play are we together he says the word is nigh thee in thy heart and in thy mouth even the word of faith which we preach right that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the lord jesus Romans chapter 10 from verse 8 to 10. He says, and believe with thy heart that God raised him from the dead. He said, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart, he says, man believes unto righteousness. And with the mouth, confession is made unto soteria, salvation. Not just new birth, unto health, unto everything. Hallelujah. Your meditation has not finished if you cannot leave that place knowing you're part of the deal. There must be your commitment. Oh Lord, what is the secret to end circles of failure? It's like as soon as I'm recovering from one, I'm finding another. 
and then you search in God's word. Who suffered like me? What is the key? Lord, nothing is working in my life. No job, no marriage, no money, no peace. What should I do? Oh, there are enemies in my life. How do I deal with them? I've prayed. And then the Holy Ghost takes you to Psalms 149. Let the high praise of God be in their lips and a double-edged sword in their hands to execute vengeance upon their nobles and to bind their kings with the fetters of iron. To execute upon them the judgment that is written. It says this honor has all the saints. Ah, so my praise is a weapon of warfare. This is my own part. You shut your door and you begin to praise God like a madman. And when you praise God like a madman, all of a sudden, you put pressure on his integrity the moment you act. Let me tell you, God is not committed to delivering any promise in your life if you have not acted upon it. Having the readiness to judge all disobedience when your obedience is complete. Praise the Lord. So what is your part tonight? Number one, your part is to believe God. Your part is to believe God. Don't allow science, medicine, the intellect to bring you to a point where you now start calculating and say, okay, now let's be real. I know that I have a fibroid. I touched it and I felt it. Is it really going to disappear? And you now begin to think. The question you have to think is, how did it come? Were you born with it? Did you swallow it and it went there? So how did it come? You never question how it grew to be that big. But now you are questioning how it will, be shrink, how it will shrink and disappear. We have been trained in an environment that stimulates unbelief. You mean I can complete that house by the end of the year? Haba, this is October. We've not even gotten to Lintel level. The last person who would have blessed me just said, Guy, Nigeria is hot. Hot for who? Don't, don't generalize this thing. Let's be sincere enough. Persuasion. I believe God. Oh. I believe God. That's why we're ministering. Listen, when you find what God has said, commit him. Throw away your ego. Throw away your fears and commit God. The Bible says, listen, listen to what it says. It says, in my name, they shall cast out devils. That's what we are going to do shortly. He said it. We believe it. And so we have the effrontery to gather you. And to release a platform for the world to listen. And we give them an assurance. Based on what? Based on his integrity. That's why we have a worship team. What's the assignment? To create the atmosphere for his presence to make manifest. Because when his presence is here, then we know that we have committed him. Brothers and sisters, I want you to come to a point of restful assurance. Throw away that doubt. You know, some of you hear what I'm saying. And most people, when they hear preachers talking like this, they look at their dressing, they look at everything and say, it's not your fault. It's because you are enjoying. As if the person was born like that. Apostle, it's because you don't know the fire that drove me from home to come here. Believe me, I don't care what it is. If God cannot solve your problem, then we have found a reason for him to not be God. But I believe God, previous miracle services, it did not happen. Another word for faith is persistence. Another word for faith is persistence. You will never, never stop persisting and claim you have faith. No, sir. Elijah prayed and asked his servant, go and check. He said, there's nothing. He would have said, ah, God, I called down fire once. What is this one? Is it that I'm backsliding? He didn't even have time to ask that question. Restful assurance. He went back to pray. Seven times. And he saw the cloud like the feast of a man. And he told Ahab, he said, saddle your ass and run. I hear the sound of the abundance of rain. There are people here tonight. 
trusting God for miracles in your body there are people here who do not even know what is wrong with their situation you are welcome who else will you run to let me just say something when I was when I was meditating and preparing this little exhortation the Lord said the following things to me and I just want us to write it down just three of them quickly number one your action commits my integrity your action not your conviction your action your action at the point of action that's when my integrity is committed so you can believe and not see results faith is the name given to the action you take based on your conviction faith is not the conviction the conviction leads to faith faith is the action are we together yeah so i look at pastor femi for instance come femi i look at pastor femi for instance and let's assume he's trusting god to heal him maybe of chest pain look at this now he comes out and hands are laid on him and he just looks and he's angry at the next person because he's saying you did allow them lay hands very well it's not the it's not how much hands are laid on you you see somehow we have this understanding you can say i have chest pain and just a touch and then they go and, and you are wondering ah, ah. you would have stayed and touched and gone around and done this now your mind thinks because time is being spent on you it means god is saying something no no the miracle listen the miracle is in your faith it happens at the speed of faith it happens at the speed of faith this guy can have all kinds of tumors and just a touch in fact sometimes it may not even be a touch just your faith like there are people now already who are healed they don't know it's just because you can't go to the hospital it says and as they spake as peter spake these words unto them the holy ghost fell on all day that had him thank you thank you very much are we together it's your faith don't come here and be careless and just sit down no assuming there's somebody you brought here for instance who was who is deaf maybe on one ear or both ears and now it's time to pray and as we're praying and you're just standing you're watching the person oh in the name of jesus if there's any deaf person here be healed and you look at him and you're wondering ah, this guy let me concentrate on myself that guy will never be healed he's going to go out like that because number one you are embarrassed to take an action step because you don't want to put your hands in his ears and inform him and say they're about to pray i'll check you your ego is telling you guy don't do this if you put your hands on his ears and you pray and you check him if it doesn't happen you will turn with your shame and hold him there that's exactly why the person will walk back and not be healed are we together they mention is a case and it looks like an embarrassing case you've been healed go and check yourself and you are wondering you are sitting down there and wasting your time and then you run later after service and you come and say jimmy sorry oh, don't be embarrassed do you know that when you were mentioning somebody with pile is me oh I, I you saw me abby just quickly pray for me you are joking because you see the result is waiting for action immediately please get this thing the lord told me this that i should tell us your action commits my integrity as they went he said go and show yourself to the priest as they went as they went as they went the woman said to herself with the issue of blood if i may but touch the hem of his garment do you know if she just stopped there talking with herself she would have gone back home with her issue of blood but then after speaking she still pressed at the point she did it there was a miracle number two this is the second thing god told me and i don't want to believe this applies to koinonia let me be wrong at least but i don't want to believe this applies to koinonia but i believe this applies to other people this is what god told me stop mixing god and any other god like traditional 
God's native doctors. That's why I say I don't believe this applies to Koinonia. But I think that this is the unbecoming of the church in Africa. On Sunday, you are with God. Are we together? On Monday or Tuesday, you now quickly run to your village. And they tell you there's somebody. The guy is not exactly a herbalist. He's not exactly a pastor. He just has this gift. You cannot mix. Let me tell you something God has said. Give us Psalm 16. Psalm 16 verse 4. Give us verse 4. Psalm 16 verse 4. I want you to read the A part. One to read. Their sorrows shall be multiplied. That do what? That hasten after another God. That's what I was looking for. What will happen to them? Their sorrow. It will look, let me tell you, please hear me. I've never gone to a herbalist, but I've ministered to plenty people who have gone to them. You will never get a sustainable result from a herbalist. But it's my father that said we should go as a family. Well, I know that there is a limit to which you can control that. But I'm telling you, you can insist and refuse. The Bible says there are sorrows. I know what I'm saying. In Africa, many people will say, oh, these people, they are just young people. They don't know what they are saying. The Bible says there are sorrows shall be multiplied. That do what? That hasten after another God. So you have something he tells you to put in your pocket before you sleep. I don't care whether they ask you to read Psalm 1 or read Psalm 100. For as long as there is a genie and a charm in your pocket and you put all kinds of things and you have to get up, do something demonic, the man is telling you, go and buy a goat. Are we together? You buy a goat, they slaughter it, they turn the blood and they say it's done. Just be praying. Just because he said just be praying does not mean it was of God. Amen. I have discovered, let me tell you something. I have discovered that most people run to God as a last resort. You go to a doctor. If a doctor does not work, then maybe you go to a few men of God here and there. After they all jump and gyrate and nothing happens, somebody will just tell you, sorry, I wanted to advise you, but... You know, I don't want you to think I'm a bad person. But if you are serious, I can take you somewhere. You see yourself going to Zaria City. I said, don't be afraid though. That's how the man's face is. That, run away. Run! That's how it is. You go there. The, before any discussion, you are dropping consultancy fee. You know, I've told you here, Koinonia, hear me. Money and miracles don't go hand in hand. Bring money. Let me pray for you. You can sow a seed expecting a miracle. You can be challenged to commit yourself. But where somebody says the price for this pregnancy is 25,000. And I'm just doing it for you and your wife. If you ever get pregnant, it was the mercy of God. Remember when the gentleman saw the apostle. With the power to lay hands on the sick and he offered money. What did he tell him? He said, your money perish with you. For you think you will buy the gift of God. It's not for sale. It's priceless. So stop mixing God and witch doctors. You cannot mix God and witch doctor. Are we together? If you depend on God, depend on him. If you depend on a herbalist, depend on him. But don't mix them. You know, one time I was counseling a very dear, a dear lady who, now this is by no means being sarcastic on any family. But I was counseling a lady who told me that she went somewhere and they gave her razor to eat. Razor. And to her shock, it didn't injure her. Razor, like sharp razor, you bring out gillette, razor, and now open your mouth, throw it in. She was scared to death, but I tell you, she broke that thing, finished it, and swallowed it. No sign of blood. They are mediums, right? They are mediums. I can guarantee you that lady's life will never be the same from that day. 
Now, the challenge with this kind of people is they just come and say, ah, now, I will never be involved in those kind of things again. Lord, my hands are washed. They think that's all to it. They think they are free. So, somebody says, I want to get married to you. Two weeks, he says, I don't know what is wrong, but the day I said I'll get married to you, somebody warned me and said, if I catch you near my wife again. So, the person gets up and says, I don't want trouble. And before you know it, the lady is 40, 41, no marriage. She loves God. She's serious. Are we together now? But she believes that everything is all. No, it's not just like that. Too. That's why God puts meetings like this to set people free. I don't know what your challenge is tonight. But I want you to know that the God of all flesh is in this place. Tonight will be a night the Lord spoke to me and I said it to us that it will be a night of massive freedom and deliverance. There are, there are people, honestly, who are going to stay on this thing and force some spirits to get out of the lives of people. I learned early in life that spirits are behind the sufferings of people. Never confuse physical conditions with the influences of spirits. They may manifest as different things. But I give you a guarantee there are spirits behind them. You are not just being hated for nothing. You are only one out of seven billion people. What makes people hate you? Everywhere you go they hate you. There is a spirit. It says for as a body without a spirit is dead. There must be a spiritual cause for that physical problem. And tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Whatever will not let you go must leave you. There are people carrying all kinds of plagues of bad luck and disfavor. Hear me as I'm speaking to you. Do you know it's not everybody you see suffering that is lazy or bad or unserious. There are well-meaning people. But these powers just sit on your destiny and say we will not go. Because it does not take discussion. It takes the power of God to put them where they belong. Are we together? There are some of us who have never experienced the favor of God. You have had it in the lives of people. You have clapped for other people, but you've not seen it in your life. If your uncle or your father or your mother is not there to help you, you think you are finished. Because in your mind, every time you are praying and say, God, visit me, what you mean is, please, oh God, help Ejimi to be the one to visit me. But when that favor is on your life and those demons clear off the way, you'll be surprised. Hear people saying three jobs. Three jobs. Waiting for someone at this time. Now the question I want to ask you before we pray is you came with a challenge. But do you believe? Do you believe that God can give you a testimony? That's my first question. No, 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 no. Don't answer me. Do you believe? Please, don't, 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 don't just assume you know what I'm saying. I'm speaking from my heart. You are seated outside. You are seated in the overflow. You are following online. Maybe in another nation or in another place. Do you believe that God can step in? That's number one. Number two, do you believe that God can step in now? It's one thing to believe God will step in. But do you believe God can step in now? Or are you saying, oh God, my eyes cannot see well. But even if it's one that starts seeing, I'm grateful. You see, it looks like it's faith, but it's not faith. It's just an advanced form of unbelief. Lord, I hold on to you. I don't know what you will do with me tonight, but I believe you. And every instruction that comes, I believe. Are we together? When prayers, when we're about to pray and we tell you every spirit that is disturbing anybody, you don't just stand and, and you are waiting for somebody to be shouting and falling or you are waiting for yourself to fall. No. Your heart is open. You are praying. Time to release your prayer request. You don't just tell the ushers, let me drop my own and you drop it as if it's... No. You are dropping it and waving it goodbye. And saying I dropped it because you will never return to me. Listen, there is an attitude. The miracle is in the attitude. Not just in the act, the attitude. 
Lord, as I drop this request, I wave you goodbye. I cannot drop it and write it again next year. Next, next, next month. Are we together? You are coming here trusting God for an impartation and an anointing. You don't sit down carelessly. You are listening carefully. As the word of God is coming, your spirit is open. And that you believe that by the time the grace is shared, I'm walking out of here a different person. Are we together? You came here sick. Oh God, this sickness. I've been praying about it, but today, let me tell you, do you know you can decide the day of your miracle? The woman with the issue of blood said today. Jacob held on to the angel, right? And said, I won't let you go. He would have let him go and say, okay, the next time you come, just inform me. You can make it today. When I was praying for this meeting, I said, God, I have one request. Please let everyone that comes here believing return with a testimony. That was my prayer for you. I've done my own part and the grace the grace to produce the miracle you need by the grace of God is available. The mercy of God is here to help you. Your part is to believe God enough and respond in faith. Are we together? Every part of the meeting, God is going to do a quick work right now. But I want you to believe. Please be tired of where you are. Oh God, from January till now, I've not moved forward. I have to be sincere with myself. Give me an encounter that by now, between now and October miracle service, let me return with tears of joy in my eyes. There are two kinds of tears a man can cry. Tears of sorrow and tears of joy. It says you have turned my mourning into dancing. Everything I'm telling you to do is what I'm doing myself. Don't think I just came here empty handed. I came here with my heart full of expectation. I mentioned my own request before God and cried my heart to him. So I, I'm only a vessel, but I'm also a benefactor. Because by and large, I will still listen to this message and I will receive every prophetic word. The trouble with us is you may think I'm a worker. Oh, I'm, I'm protocol, I'm media, I am a minister, I am this and not receive. You see how the leaders in this house, whenever they are here, they forget about anything and everybody's heart is open. That's, that's the attitude. Are we together? Don't sit down arguing and say, Madam, how are you? How do you feel? That's not your business. Focus on what God is doing and insist. The devil, in these kinds of meetings, hear me, Satan waits strategically for those whose hearts will not listen to the word. They are the kinds who will go back and their situations will be worse than it is. Because you see, when these demons and these spirits leave, they have to search for a life for continuity. And you can't stand neutral. There are others who come here. There are probably people sitting inside and outside. You were invited, but your heart is already here cynical. Will God really bless them? All these men of God serve and all this, their nonsense talk. You see, that kind of attitude will not give you a miracle. Don't come to God passively. You must come to him intentionally. Are we together? How many of us are ready to walk out of here with a real miracle? How many of us believe there is a place in the word of God for your case? You believe your case is not new. There is a place for the word of God. How many of you believe that it is within the power of God to wipe your tears and give you a testimony? And how many of you are ready to place a demand by faith? Please jump up on your feet and begin to pray. Rise up on your feet and begin to pray. Lord, I place a demand. Lord, I place a demand. Lord, I place a demand. Whether you are inside outside i place a demand online i place a demand on your integrity i place a demand on your favor i place a demand on your wisdom i place a demand are you praying shake it back at the Jem proto sobarikata, 
Lord, I've been doing ministry with no anointing. I've been struggling in ministry. But I place a demand that I will encounter something, an unction, a grace that will change my life. Lord, my business has refused to grow. Everything I've tried to do is not working. But tonight, I place a demand. Lord, I'm tired of this genotype issue. I'm tired of this genotype issue. Lord, I'm tired of this barrenness issue. I'm tired of high blood pressure. I'm tired of pile. I'm tired of eye problem. I'm tired of using crutches. I'm tired of poverty. Living from hand to mouth. I'm tired of failure tired of defeat change my story change my story change my story hallelujah listen hallelujah i want you to take two minutes you are going to cry for your family and say lord as i stand here i represent an altar it's not just me alone the angel of your presence must enter my house tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Pray, pray, pray. Oh God of heaven, step into my family. Step into my family. End that curse. End that bondage. The plague of death in my family. Bring it to an end. The plague of hardship. Nobody has a job in my family. End it, oh God. Nobody is gainfully employed. Nobody is born again aside from me. Step in, oh God. Step in, oh God. Nobody is making progress. People are just getting old. Nothing is moving. Change my story. The words you speak complete around your house. Pray, pray, pray. Have me let me you took away the chain. point listen listen the last prayer point he said give us this day this day not tomorrow lord give me this day breakthrough give me this day promotion mention everything you want and say lord today my faith is for today if your faith says yes god will not say no if your faith says yes God will not say no. Lift your voice and cry. Give me this day healing for my body. Give me this day a new anointing. Give me this day an encounter with the spirit of wisdom. Give me this day direction for the next level of my life. Hallelujah. 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 
the Lord is giving me one more prayer point. Don't be tired of praying. Prayer helps you release your faith. Listen. Hold on, please. Listen. Amen. Listen. I want you to pray with all your heart. I told you there are spirits behind every situation. Hear me. I want you to pray in one minute that any spirit behind your seat, leave the situation alone. Don't worry. Don't mention, leave the headache. Leave what? That the spirit behind it. I like you to pray and declare that as God's prophetic word comes from here, that spirit is under arrest, is on fire, and it must leave. Hey. Lift your voice and pray. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit behind it. Leave the case. Leave the case. Challenge the spirit. The spirit behind failure. The spirit behind delay. I come against it. Hallelujah. The devil is in trouble tonight. Rise up, everybody. Rise up, everybody. I tell you, I'm angry, my spirit. Rise up, everybody. We have to pray. Somebody has got to walk out with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. Somebody has got to walk out of this place. Bring them out. Somebody has got to walk out of this place with a testimony. It must be over today. 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 It must be over. There is enough grace, brothers and sisters, to step into your situation. Lift your hands, everyone. Lift your hands, everyone. There is authority in this place, not just power. There is a difference between power and authority. There is authority in this place. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Sabarato kaparike teba shalabakari adabadada. The Lord is asking me to pray in tongues for two minutes. Hear me. And while I pray in tongues, me, while I pray in tongues, I want you to bring all those under the anointing. That's what the Lord is asking me to do. Father, let your word go forth. I put the word of God on my prayer. Shebarete seda da da bakata lekete prekete bash dakarete tesh dakareke tesh dakareke tesh shabarada ba inside outside lekete prekete bash the word of God is upon this prayer rete kete 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 lekete prapata shabarada ba shabarada ba barakata praskata barata they are tongues of fire. They are tongues of fire. In those people, they can touch the negative. They can test the negative. They can test the negative.
lift your hands everyone lift your hands i tell you fire is burning in this place you must be free you must be free you must be free just lift your hands lift your hands right now in the name of jesus every spirit every covenant every altar standing on your way to the next level in the name of jesus right now i command them to leave you 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 now every spirit holding your destiny every spirit holding your destiny every spirit holding your destiny leave them now in the name of jesus lift your hands at the count of three i want you to shout jesus i'm seeing a sword in the spirit and on that sword i see something like a chain and on the chain is written stagnation in the name of jesus lift your hands you may not even know this affects you at the count of three as you shout jesus many of you will be surprised what will happen to you inside outside online let that spirit that has changed your destiny in one place as you shout jesus i command it to leave are you ready now one two three i command stagnation go now go now go now go now, go now. stagnation by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost by the power of the holy ghost stagnation leaves your destiny stagnation leaves your life stagnation Hallelujah. I'm speaking to someone right now whose life has refused to move forward. I don't know who you are, but every time you want to make progress, you have dreams, and in those dreams, you see things holding you. Sometimes you see chain. The Lord is asking me to release you wherever you are. Right now, I stretch my hands, I set you free. I set you free. I set you free. I set you free. Hallelujah. We are still praying. They must let you go. Parato soto barikete. Ladies, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray for you from my heart. Something is about to leave you now. Sisters, lift your hands. Every covenant that anyone is under here, please hear me, knowingly or unknowingly, that has tied any lady's destiny right now, in the name of Jesus, at the count of three, may that fire come upon you and burn that covenant to ashes any ungodly alliance any covenant that has tied your destiny are you ready now ladies one two three shout jesus be free be free be free be free be free, be free. inside and outside i break it i break it i break it I break it by the power of the Holy Ghost. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. 
I saw something fly above and the Lord said it's the spirit of death the plague of death there are families here every year someone must die every every year somebody must die there are families here every season somebody must be sick I want to end cycles death does not just mean cessation from living cycles of repetition lift your hands everybody this one will affect a lot of people please open your heart hear me many of you may not have observed that there are cycles of repetition that happen in families cycles of repetition lift your hands the ministry of angels at the count of three with all your heart i want you to shout jesus and watch what happens to you some of you as you shout jesus you will have an open vision literally and you will see things that have happened in your family and god will bring you a word of deliverance are you ready now at the count of three father back up your word one two three spirit of death i arrest you i arrest you i arrest you i arrest you circles of death circles of death i arrest you hallelujah lift your voice and begin to pray cancel everything challenge every spirit 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 challenge every challenge every spirit Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are going to be fast. But I'm going to walk around. There is a reason why I walk around. Listen. You don't have to touch me. But let me tell you. As surely as the God of heaven is in this place. When I come close to you. If there is any spirit. That is holding your destiny. It must leave you. Believe me. Believe me. There is an anointing. You don't have to make the place rowdy. I'm going to walk through this road. I will come back here and I will go outside. Let's see how much you can do that very fast. Please, let your heart be open. You don't have to touch me. I'm telling you that any spirit, any spirit, I stretch my hands here. Any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, any spirit, Right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, every spirit, 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 go, 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 go. Right now, right now, right now, let them go. Every spirit, every spirit. Those of you out from here, as I walk through the crowd, give me any spirit, any spirit, lift your hand. 
hands lift your hands I'm going to walk across you when there is any spirit that fire right now right now right now right now right now every spirit 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 right now you must go 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 right now right now every spirit hide down anyone to you must go of you outside sorry about the sound i'm about to walk here listen you don't have to touch me i assure you by the god of heaven by the anointing of the holy ghost right now right now be free i'm passing your role the anointing is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you the glory is upon you be free now be free now as I pass you, God is touching you. God is touching you. God is touching you. Hallelujah. Now there's someone here. Hold on, please. Hold on, please. There is someone in this vicinity. You had a dream three days ago and you saw me praying for you. Three days ago, exactly three days ago. Who is that person? came here the spirit of the lord told me to pray for the person please who is that person let's pray and then the sec don't don't come here please if you are not the person 
the second person i want to pray for there is someone here you've been having severe abdominal pain right here right here you're a lady this pain has been too much right here please who is that person i want to pray for you right now you're the okay stand here i want to pray for you right now you came for a miracle service lift your hands i use them as a point of contact to pray for everybody here anyone here with any strange pain ah look at i look at this lady and i see a spirit go in the name of jesus christ i command that pain to leave right now go right now in the name of jesus christ the lord is showing me someone i don't know what it is about this role but there is someone your family has gone through repeated cycles of losses this is financial losses for a while i don't need to bring you god is going to bring you out right now lord whoever that person is right now that's the person i'm talking about a miracle comes for you a miracle comes for you i'm seeing a lady here looks like a small girl you see spirits in the night this is like witches this is what i'm seeing the lord is bringing deliverance for that person right now right now in the name of the lord jesus christ the lord is bringing a miracle for that person right now right now right now who is by the name john there's someone outside here ministering to those outside by the name john 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 who is john please are you john your name is john ah there's another john you are wearing nigerian shirt john you are wearing nigerian shirt is there someone like that do i know you Stand here. i need to pray for you because i'm seeing something on your head like madness can we have this okay thank you those outside listen in the realm of the spirit whether you are inside or outside believe me when i tell you this it makes no difference the only thing we have to lose you can see i'm talking outside but I'm still touching people inside that's the same i can be inside touching you don't don't think because you are standing far you have a disadvantage of sound but that's the only disadvantage it's not a disadvantage to your spirit are we together look at me where are you coming from from quara state quara state for this meeting no i'm a student in abu oh you are a student in abu I'm, i have to pray for you i'm seeing somebody reading and all of a sudden he starts talking like a madman just from academics and this thing i'm seeing is witchcraft i hear what i'm saying I, don't be afraid i'm not a prophet of doom i'm going to pray for you i don't know who is trying to protect anything while you are studying here but in the name of the god of heaven please hear me because while you are studying somebody else is hoping you don't pass but i lay my hands on this gentleman i use him as a point of contact to anyone here whoever has planned anything against you it returns back to them in the name of jesus christ all of you in this overflow this very one please lift your hand sorry again about the sound but i want to don't mind just lift your hands the lord is telling me in seven days please hear me there are five people here in this room in seven days god is going to give their families dramatic breakthrough listen i will not touch you the power of god will locate them right now one that's one five of them in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ you don't have to bring them out seven days i stand under this prophetic and apostolic voice and i declare miracles 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 bring this little girl for me bring this little girl for me come sweetheart let her not fall here hug me come the lord is saying i don't know what family this girl comes from but the lord is saying he's giving that family favor right now favor for this girl's family favor for this girl's family favor for this girl's family i'm seeing a final year student here you've written your exams you thought you've graduated but i'm looking now and i'm seeing two courses and the lord is saying we should change it 
I don't know who that person is yet. This I stand in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, and I prophesy as the Lord has spoken to me. We change it now. We change it now. Help them. We change it now. I want you to believe everything God is doing here. Believe everything God is doing. I'm looking at a family of seven people, no marriage. And God is saying, arrest that spirit. I'm seeing another family of four ladies, no marriage. I don't care who. Wait, you don't have to come. Father, I pray. I'm standing here. It doesn't matter where I stand. I'm speaking to everybody. Right now, in the next one minute, all those whose family has been tied down maritally, fire is coming upon those spirits right now. Right now, right now, in the name of Jesus, be free, be free, be free, completely free, be completely free, be completely free. The Lord is showing me something. I'm looking at this woman and I am seeing your children. I know she may not, I, I, I don't know if she understands him or not, but I'm looking at her and the Lord is saying I should wait with her. When it's time to go in, I should carry her and meet her two children inside. That's what God is telling me. That I should carry her. Someone ask her. Uh, Evelyn. 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 And who? Okay, they are inside. Evelyn and Mercy. Hold on. Because I looked at this woman. And the Lord is saying he wants to visit the woman. And then the Lord told me that two of her children are inside. That when I'm going in, I should hold her and take her inside and minister to that family. I use this woman as a point of contact. You keep hearing me pray and repeating myself. It's because there are spirits that don't want to let people go. They must go tonight. Amen. Gentlemen, look at me. Look at me. That guy is your season of breakthrough. I know that you hear a word like this and think I'm joking until you hear the testimony. It's your season of breakthrough. In the name of Jesus Christ. Mommy, let me talk to you. Please come. The Lord is saying I should tell you. You hear Hausa, ma? You can speak English. No, no. I need to tell you what I'm saying in Hausa. Yes. That he's going to wipe you in such a way that you will forget the pain of the past. I don't know who you came with, but I'm prophesying to you. Mama, go and write it. This thing will happen. You will come back with a testimony. See, when a prophetic word comes on you, I want you to know that the end has come. There, there are thousands of people here. If God locates you, don't, don't sit down. You are doubting. Is it really God? No, 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 no. Mama, for your children, where are they? Come. Did you tell me because, uh-uh, mama, let me talk to you. I'm prophesying. I need to pray for this person because I am seeing God doing a miracle for him. This gentleman, uh, where is he? Abuja. He's in Abuja. Yes. What's he doing? He's working for somebody and they are not even... Paid. Mama, let me talk to you. That's why I'm talking to you. You see this person, go and tell him by November a job is coming for him. I will not stand in the open. You are in Zaria here. So it's not like somebody, they ship somebody to come and stage manage. I'm saying it in the open. Go and tell him. My brother, I want to pray for you. There's delay in life. Come and stand here. Someone will look at you and think everything is all right. But if I don't pray for you, a time will come, you will be really frustrated. There's a photographer here that things are not working for. Where are you? God wants to change your story. I don't know if you're a photographer or something. Please, you see, I told us let's cooperate. I want us to finish very fast. There is a photographer here. I'm not guessing. You are here. Things are grounded. Who are you? Make sure you are not lying. Not country. You photographer business. Huh? Somewhere at North Gate. At North Gate. And nothing is happening. Do you love God? I have to pray for you. Because I'm looking at somebody who stood. You had a quarrel with somebody over snapshot and the lady cost you. This is what I'm seeing. That lady you see, uh, well, I'm not, I, I, it's not like I'm indicting people, but that lady you see, it's not everybody you see that is a normal human being. That lady cost you from that day. Things will dry up. You have, it's, it's not like you are careless, but if it takes a person to speak a word of a cost, 
it takes a higher anointing to help you hold my hands return back to your glory i prophesy to you right now in the name of jesus my brother let me pray for you jesus is truly answer you see let me tell you brothers and sisters you can be suffering for decades but when god decides to step in that's the end of it he just helps you praise the lord when he steps in i'm hearing joss joss you came from joss you came from joss you came from joss you came from joss the lord wants to give that person a miracle you came from Jos Kabarota Sipa. Please, if that person is here, let me. Who? Ah, this mama again. We've prayed for mama now. Oh, from Jos. I'm going to pray. Ah, ah, no, now I will pray for her, but no, I'm not in your state of origin. You came from there, not that. You came from, I know Sarah, I'll pray for you, but there's somebody else I'm seeing. Who is that? Sir, you're welcome. You came from Joe, sir. Are you a family? You too, you came. That is, sir, you came from Joss. Where in Joss? I'm with the University of Joss. You're with the University of Joss. I, I have to pray for you. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a man who has been cheated. This is what I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit. Sir, you came all the way from Joss, University of Joss. You're a lecturer? You're a lecturer with University of Joss. Why am I seeing you not promoted? Well, I changed from I was lecturer to the university. The system is different from I'm, I'm, I'm going to pray for you because the Lord is saying I should prophesy to you that he's stepping into your life and he's giving you a miracle. waste your time sir ah, i'm seeing you writing like i don't know if it's a this is like um uh, like a publication this is what i'm seeing this is a publication and a prof a prof is going to help you and god is going to honor you with that publication no there are many publications to write but you will return back this will happen like a dream the way god is going to wipe your tears praise the lord yes please Here. don't worry daddy i'm going to pray for you we've not prayed for the sick yet are, are, we, are we together i'm going to pray when it's time to pray for the sick i'll lay hands on you yes sir i'm seeing there's a corruption in your blood and god has to cleanse you completely yes so that you will not die don't be afraid of death and be thinking i will die and leave my family Ah, uh ah. -uh. god is life is the same god who was there for you Hallelujah. Sir, just this prophetic word for you that God is going to lift you. I'll come back to you when I'm praying for the sick. We're going to pray for the sick now. My dear, hold my hands. I'm seeing you climb a ladder, Sarah, and the Lord is saying it's time for you to stay on that ladder. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. You climb up and it brings you down. And the Lord is saying, let her climb and not come down. Therefore, I lay my hands on you and I prophesy that it's a new season in the name of Jesus. There are two ladies inside the main auditorium. The power of God is coming upon them right now. The power of God is coming upon them right now. They are inside. The Holy Ghost is, a, is, a, is like a volcano. It's like an anointing. Two of them inside. The Spirit of the Lord is coming upon them heavily. This is breakthrough that God is bringing. Sir, you wanted to talk to me. Don't worry. You don't have to tell me what the issue is. You understand? If we say that, you see, we will not be able to attend to other people. And it will not be fair. Do we all agree? So, I must not mention your case. Just believe me. Please have the faith that God is going to touch you. I came out like this to encourage us. So that you don't feel I am there. It doesn't matter where you stand. Just for coming to this ground alone, the power of God is there to touch you. Augusta, come, let me for you. This in you come. Okay. I have to pray for you. I'm seeing the spirit of death. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Can he hear me? Who brought this guy? 
Kanajina, can you hear? I have to pray for you. This is the spirit of death on you. And the Lord is saying, I should set you free. Huh? In the name of Jesus Christ, I lay my hands upon you. And I command that spirit of death to leave you and go forever. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Father, I lay my hands on this gentleman. Be free right now. In the name of Jesus. Hold my hands, darling. I, I, is it your sister? Why are you here? You came from Joss too. Where in Joss? To the water. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Where is the mama that was here? Uh -uh. There was another woman who was standing here. Please bring her. Be careful with this, our elderly ones, please. Come, let's walk there. Lift your voice and begin to say, Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Lord, I believe you. Who is this? Who brought him? What's the situation? The father is inside. We are going to pray for the sick now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. I'm seeing charm against a family. And the Lord is saying, let it end now. I don't know where that family is. That charm, that charm. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. I curse it right now by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. I don't want to be poor in my life. I hate poverty. And so I made up my mind to learn everything I could learn about wealth. I still am learning. I've studied the wealthiest people on earth. Literally. All the billionaires, one by one. I've studied their lives. I've studied people who demonstrated wealth in the Bible. Abraham, Isaac. I've studied men like Bishop Oyedepo, Kenneth Copeland, David Ibiume, people who represent the portrait of a prosperous life. I pay the price to seek knowledge. I've studied the largest churches in every continent. I know them. I can tell you without thinking. I've studied the lives of the pastors. What brought the crowds to them? I've studied the lives of very anointed people, right from the generals to great men like Benny He. What was their secret? The reason why we fail again and again is we are not studying successful people. The Bible says in Isaiah 51, it says, Look unto Abraham your father and to Sarah that bore thee. He said, For I called him alone and I blessed him and I increased him. Look unto him, meaning understudy his life please sh cut short your journey to success by following wisdom pursue it wisdom leaves trails behind if you are interested you will find it don't try to discover a road that has been found ask for the ancient parts don't labor trying to discover it it's been found there's nothing you really want in life that somebody has not gotten So that's the second law we violate. We do not passionately pursue wisdom and understanding. There are times I can lock myself up for two days, three days, and all I'm watching is videos upon videos. Videos of men of God. Sometimes I can play worship songs or play the videos of men of God. And while it is playing, I will just be praying in tongues all through. I have in my phone videos i partition my phone into different compartments 
worship songs, teachings that bless me, are not pursuing. Say in the name of Jesus, I make up my mind to pursue wisdom and to get understanding. Brothers and sisters, look at me. I don't care what is not working in your life right now. I don't care what the ridicule is. You can determine the lifespan of your tragedy by the speed with which you pursue wisdom. You prolong your tragedy when you fail to seek wisdom. You prolong your tragedy. Ah! The moment you find wisdom, begin to rejoice, even if you are in the fire, because you are coming out. For sure. For sure. Number three. The third principle we keep violating to our detriment is that we do not live by the truths that we have found. How true. Some of us, and for many of us who have been coming for koinonia and have had access to the teachings, the truth is many of us, there are very few of us that will say we do not know certain laws, especially in certain areas. But we do not live by the truth we know. You see, knowledge is not power. Consistently applied knowledge is what is power. The truth you know that you do not live by. Notice I did not say practice. Let me tell you another mistake we make. Many of us try to practice. We don't live by. You see, when you try to practice a thing, it's because your conviction about it is still dwindling. When your conviction about a thing is certain, you don't practice, you live by it. Those who practice principles are conscious of the results. Those who live by principles know it must produce. They have moved past just results. Ah, but I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded. Job was so confident that when a man hooks up to God, he can come out of everything. And he says, though he slay me, yet will I praise him. He said, all the days of my appointed time, I will wait until my change comes. It was this understanding that made Daniel, listen, Daniel was not trying to practice faith. He was living a life of faith. That's why when they threw him in the lion's den. Let me tell you how those who try to practice these principles behave. When they try to practice, they are looking at the other end of it for results. And the moment they don't find results, once, twice, those who are trying to practice prayer, they pray for one week, and then they quickly watch the result. And they say, this thing is not working. Then they gas out. They try to look for something else. But there are those who live by prayers. Those who practice trying to study the word. Those who try to practice staying in God's presence. Listen, don't try to practice these principles. Live by them meaning sustain a conviction that is beyond their producing results to you that if they never produce results you cannot undo them again we do not live by the truth we know inaction and disobedience has been one serious reason why many of our lives have been stuck in one place in action closely related to this we don't take steps we never act we are afraid listen i shared it during the graduation of our school of ministry students you will have to take a step one day and walk on the water a day will come you must take that step you must take that step take it and fail but take it the one who takes a step and fails is more honorable than the one who never takes any step. The one who wrote jam five times and failed is more honorable than the one who just sits down and didn't write jam. Are we together? The one who tried to look for ten jobs with zero results is better than the one who just kept his certificate lying down and complaining and saying in the days of our parents, government used to give people jobs. step out of that comfort zone step out of that place of comfort i know somebody who got a job he got a job as a student 
I think he was in 300 level when he got a job. He had mastered, it was something that had to do with IT. And he knew it so well. He went and took a step and wrote a proposal. And, you know, when he wrote it, they asked him, they thought he had graduated and served. And when he wrote everything, they said, okay, so um, what did you study? He said, no, I'm, I'm still a student in training. And the man said, walk out of my office. He said, sir, please, give me about five or ten minutes, according to what he said. If I do not convince you that I know what I'm doing, I will step out. And the mistake that man made was to give that guy ten minutes. And he wowed him. There and then, they gave him a job. He was paying. Immediately he finished, he went to serve there. He's still working there. But there are other people who that man is their uncle there are people who are neighbors to that workplace how many people for instance who live very close to cjc here and have been oppressed by demons for many years and have never come to just sit down it's just a two minutes walk am i right just a two minutes walk when they see people gather they'll sit down outside and be talking when i step out they say that's him and then all the stories that follow Are we together? Disobedience. You must live by conviction. So I've identified three things. Let's review it quickly. Number one is lack of determination. See, if you want to be anointed, you will be anointed. The reason why the anointing has not come in your life is because you have not pursued it diligently. You are pursuing the anointing as if um, have you seen a hungry man looking for food? Yeah. He doesn't say, please microwave it uh, sharply. I mean somebody that, let's say three days fast. I, I, I don't like food that is cold. Or it looks like, why this rice is looking sticky, it's like it has spoiled. He will first eat it. It's when he's done. You say, ah, but this rice, why is it tasting like this? Because he divorces it. That's how you must pursue life. Everything I do, I seek it with see. That's why I'm hardly committed in many things. Because I have a contagious level of commitment. I'm not committed in many things in my life. But when I commit to things, I stay there. I stay there. I'm committed to the assignment that God has given me. Even if I come for koinonia and I find only two people, I will feel bad. I will go for a retreat and ask what happened. But it will never make me just get up and say, Talk, Lord, that's it. Um, let me just dust my form and go and look for pilgrims. Uh, what do you call it? A trip to Jerusalem. To just go there and be like many Nigerians and never come back. Just dodge and run away. Or let me go and look for a green card and relocate to America. No. Kai. You must have the spirit of a fighter. Many of us don't know how to fight. We are too weak to succeed. You must have the audacity of winners. Is God speaking to us tonight? Please! You are not the first to fail. You are not the first to try. You want to build a house, you have only five naira. You will sit down there and die not building that house. If you really want to, you will build it. Say after me, I have the spirit of a winner. Say it. Say I have a determination of a winner. Say in the name of Jesus, I will weary failure until I succeed. Say it again in the name of Jesus, I will weary failure until I succeed. I remember one of our great ones, Mazi Prosper, his, his wedding in I think a week or two from now and he returned from the states and came to my place and he was thanking me we were talking i met mazi prosper in 2004 when he started his comedy the truth is he wasn't very funny when he started all those things sometimes you just laugh it's more of his face that makes you laugh than the joke are we together now and so i said kai this guy but i encouraged him there were times when he would send me a text and say, ah, what happened? Somebody promised him that they would give him a show and then they would later push him back for another person and he should continue. I told him, keep on. Keep improving yourself. See, let me tell you, 
brothers and sisters it's okay for people to laugh at you it's not unusual let them laugh because they'll be the ones to defend you tomorrow they can't say you jump the process because they will say i laughed at him even me i thought he would fail let them laugh at you are we together they saw when you started the business they saw when you started the saloon they saw when they came and locked the shop because you could not pay rent they even helped you to pack your things out of the shop with the embarrassment continue in the midst of that tears go back and study find out who is the best hairstylist what are their secrets labor and pay the price to get knowledge when you have the leading saloon in any place people will say i said i said it even those who criticize you i knew he would be successful oh brothers and sisters is great to conquer challenges the other side of pain is sweet i tell you this from experience the other side of pain is delightsome a woman carries pregnancy spitting all around looking as if she would die but when the child comes people come to visit her and they bring gifts and she looks at a new baby and she's blessed learn this the other side of pain is glory unlimited If you think it's costly to be successful, let's consider the alternative. Are you ready to consider the alternative? Failure all the way. Pain all the way. Broken down and spread through your lifetime. It's better for me to take 10 years of my life and pay the price and live the remaining part of my life making a mark for the kingdom than living in denial and living in fear and living in lies for 70 years of my life. And in my old age, I find out that the prophecy of those who hate me have become self-fulfilling. Be determined. Go for knowledge. Unembarrassingly go for knowledge. See, seeking wisdom will sting your ego. Settle it before the time. Someone came today and met me with a proposal. The first time he sent me a text for the proposal, I didn't even reply him. I just left him. Not intentionally, really. Probably I didn't pay attention to what he was saying. And then he sent it again. And then he sent it again. We returned back from a trip yesterday. He sent another text for me. And then I was talking to a few people this morning. And then he called me. And I said, this guy is serious. I told him, come. When he came, I wasn't concerned about the proposal. I collected it. Look at what he had to it was something about his company he needed advice and i dropped it and i said you are a smart person let me add value to you and i told him sit down i began to share with him a few things i've learned and he was amazed i gave him a few videos i said this will help you i would never do this to anybody by default even my blood brother if you don't seek it you will never get it please stop trying to help people who do not want your help they will trample on your help I've learned this. Learn it. Never try to help people who are not prepared for it. They will not appreciate it. If you are not thirsty and I bring water, you can carry it and stone it back at me. Are we together? Thank you, Jesus. So pursue knowledge. And number three, live by the truths. Live by the truths. Please. How many people don't tithe? I tell you, I can almost tell you that more than half of the people here are not consistent with tithing. Don't blame God for closed heavens. I can tell you this. I can look at your life and unashamedly tell you the areas where you are not living by the word of God. It's not a lie. I'm being sincere with us. Is that all right? So that we don't come and lie and fall under the anointing and sweep the ground and get up and go back. We are not living by the word. God is my witness. Ask those who are close to me. Everything God blesses me with before I think of anything, the tithe. God's portion is out. I don't practice it. I live by it. It's a law. There's no man who jumps up and continues going up. You must come down. It's a law. Are we together now? Why will you keep punishing yourself by fighting the laws 
that are older than your existence why fight the laws of god why not come into alignment i have learned the excellency i found myself many times violating the laws of the kingdom and my goodness the experiences have been nasty align yourself with the laws of the kingdom and you will find freedom true freedom they know not the bible says neither will they understand he says they grow up in darkness and the whole earth is out of course wisdom it is wisdom that brought many of us here are we together listen when saul lost his father's when his father's donkey was missing saul and one other person and the servant they were on their way to look for it they tried looking for it by themselves and they had to acknowledge and say look every knowledge we know as far as recovery is concerned we have exhausted it he said see let us take another alternative that's what brought many of us here there are many people who will not humble themselves to say see i have tried this situation i don't know whether it's demonic or is my own but at least let me go to an atmosphere where i can find explanation if you do this you are wise are we together if you do this you are wise and they said there is a man of god let's go and meet him even if we are wrong let us find somebody who can tell us we are wrong notice everybody who met a man of god to solve their problem the man did more than what they, are, they came for he trivialized their problem look at naman his breakthrough was only seven baths away yet he lived his lifetime suffering i have learned by experience that breakthrough is not difficult it is access to the platform for the breakthrough that is hard but the day you find a place of breakthrough brothers and sisters in 24 hours your captivity of decades can come to an end. The price is not to get breakthrough. The price is to go to the atmosphere where breakthrough is a possibility. That's your price. Is God speaking to us? They went to Samuel. The major issue was the issue of restoration. But when they went to Samuel, listen all that samuel told them was is it not the donkey is being found please there are more important issues can you imagine to them that was the big deal let's look for our father's donkey but samuel said leave the issue of donkey i speak or oh, yeah it's being found look at naaman when naaman went to go and meet elisha what did he say to go and bath it didn't even come out just go and take your bath seven times ah, he went to take his bath and that was the end of it brothers and sisters tonight many of you are face to face with realities that can wipe your tears of decades but it is for you to recognize your own part has been done by coming to the atmosphere now step back and allow God to step in you see that your own part there are few prophets that I've met in my life true prophets one day I met a man of God, a true prophet of God. And I was explaining a few things to him, areas of confusion here in my life. Do you know that before I would talk to this man, he looked at me and smiled. He said, did God not show you what you are going through now? And I just looked at the man. He said, you are pretending as if God did not show you. But did he not show you the other side too? See that? Yeah. Go and take the yellow book among your books. Read it now. Page 70. That's where God gave you the prophetic word. That's, he said, please, this issue is not the issue we are discussing. Let's discuss the next level of ministry. How is Koinonia doing? This is a prophet speaking to me. Ah. How about the dream you had of the next level? This is what we are discussing. I went for something else. I'm hearing something else. That's the character of a true man of God. Some of you now have carried the problem. My rent, oh God. And God is saying, not rent. I'm going to give you an anointing to start up a business. You came, for, how much is rent? 250. I know it's a mountain to you. <laughs> but don't joke with God. Once you are in that atmosphere, expect him to do more. 
expect him to do hallelujah there is one requirement from you tonight that requirement is to accept that you need help that's the last thing I would require from you if you can accept before God and say Lord I've tried everything I know to do I know that this thing is not as hard as it is but I submit myself to your wisdom you have changed the lives of people within 24 hours you have brought restoration and healing and hope for people brothers and sisters that sickness can leave that it has stayed 20 years does not mean that's how to stay you can choose to hear this word from God and argue it and just say well nice preaching your problem only affects you I hope you know but you can tremble at his word and say this is the key one prayer that God will never reject is the cry of mercy from a man who needs his help. When a man comes to the end of his life, I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of myself. I have come to the end of myself. When you come to that point and you say, Lord, you spoke to me that I'm going to be a kingdom financier. I'm short of ideas. I've come to the end of my life. Lord, I need direction. I don't know whether it's job now or marriage. I don't know whether it's Zaria now or, or, or I'm going to London or I'm going to Calabar or I'm staying in, 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 in Kogi State. I need direction. You will never, never receive direction and help from God by default. Jesus Christ saw blind Bartimaeus. He passed him as if he didn't see him. Blind Bartimaeus said, Thou son of David. I'm sure people said, keep, keep, keep quiet. The guy cried the more. He said, wicked people, you have eyes. I'm, I'm, I'm blind. Tonight, you may be going through all kinds of things. Brothers and sisters, the power of God is available. You have taken the first right step to come to the atmosphere. The second step, is surrender you must receive his help because you can reject it you can reject the help of God before we begin to pray Papa Adeboye shared a story and talked about a man who was on a wheelchair and that man was on a wheelchair and people kept giving the man money he became rich because every time people would give him money. And then one time during a program, Papa Deboe looked at him and he was moved with compassion by the Holy Spirit. And he was going to pray for him. And he, he was led to ask him, do you want to be well? The man said, no. He looked at him, ha, ah, be well? Why should I stand up when my life has changed on this chain? And truly the man told him, all I want is money. I don't want to be I think eventually the guy got healed and he was angry. That's according to Papa Deboe. He said the guy was angry because he said, now I will have to work for myself. No excuse again. Take over. Take over. I have come to the end of myself. Take over. Take over. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah, I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over, I have come to the end of myself. Take over, take over. I have touched the end of myself. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I have come to the end of myself. Hallelujah. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Say, Lord, I need help. Mention the areas you need his help. If you don't need any help, pray for Koinonia. Pray for the ministry. 
Lord, I need help. Pray. I need help in my marriage. Pray. I need help in my finances. I need help in my academics. I need help on my job. Are you praying? Thou son of David, I cry for your mercy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Second prayer point. Lord, I know it is within your power to help me. I ask for your help. Let your power address my case tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I know. Oh, it is within your power to give me a husband. It is within your power to give me a wife. It is within your power to cause my business to flourish. It is within your power to bring restoration. It is within your power to give me a child. It is within your power to cure HIV. It is within your power to deliver me. Oh, pray. It will put a new song in your mouth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. One last prayer point. We are going to cry for grace. I just showed you your contribution to your failure. You must take responsibility and say, Lord, I take responsibility and I receive grace to make the adjustments. There's nothing embarrassing about it. From all that I've said, you know the area that affects you. Say, Lord, I take responsibility. The part you cannot do for yourself, you will do. But the part that is your responsibility, you must take responsibility. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, we take responsibility. In the name of Jesus, we receive fresh determination, fresh persistence, fresh determination, fresh persistence. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we receive the grace to pursue wisdom, to seek wisdom like a jewel. We receive grace to pursue understanding. We receive grace to live by the truths that we know. We receive grace to be convicted. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Shortly we are going to begin ministering. We'll be very fast today. I want to see how we can close on time. So we're going straight to the point. Hallelujah.
we'll try to do everything very very fast and see how we can beat time as much as possible hallelujah you're going to prophesy what you want to happen to you by yourself are you ready now please i want you to speak it these are instructions from god i know you have been praying in your secret place it's not the same thing you are doing now open your mouth and prophesy everything god will do for you lift your voice and pray i walk out of here healed tonight come on now ss you must leave me tonight as you must leave me tonight Shake at a tata, back up para toko topekete. Confusion must end in my life tonight. That idea that I need for my business, that idea that I need for promotion, that restoration, I refuse to walk out of this place without that restoration, that mantle. That renewed spiritual life that clarity that prophetic word oh yes 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 pray pray in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray that every spirit from darkness that has held your life, pray that you must be delivered this night. Every spirit tying your family, every spirit tying your progress, pray. Enough is enough. He must live my life lord i must be delivered today hallelujah 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 in recent time i have seen tremendous increase of the anointing of the spirit upon my life especially in the area of healing and deliverance I have seen this all my life but I have seen a multiplication of this grace brothers and sisters whatever your challenge is believe me there is an enough anointing to wipe your tears if only you will believe don't be part of those who have come to waste their time. There are people standing outside just staring at others. Forget about them and be focused. You know what you are going through. Miracle service is not, it's not a marriage ceremony. It's not an album dedication. You don't come and just watch and smile. You come with anger in your heart and say, Lord, I, I won't go back that way. Who told you SS cannot be healed? Who told you AS cannot change? Who told you the, the biological problem cannot go? Who told you you cannot get breakthrough? Lord Jesus, we thank you. We release this atmosphere to you and your power. Lord, I know that you will do amazing things even in this place. We trust you for a quick walk. There are lives, there are destinies that need to be changed. Lord, there are people under all kinds of the influence of strange spirits that have tied their lives let not one of them escape the power of the holy spirit there are sick bodies that need to be healed oh god let not one of them escape the healing power of god there are families that have come with burdens lord i pray your people have come with prayer requests impossible situations but they believe in you so lord we give you praise hallelujah hallelujah now while the ministration continues please if you have not written your prayer requests 
make sure that you write them it's important it's not a religious formality it's a revelation that God gave us hallelujah during the dinner those of us who are workers will have the opportunity probably to experience the testimonies that have come as a result of answered prayers So in one minute, just write your prayer request very quickly so that when we start, please, if you are yet to write, let's just give them an opportunity. Please help one another with um, papers. You can feel free to put on your phone, contact your loved ones and tell them to send in their prayer request if it's possible. There are many who have sent their own hundreds online. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please make sure you write everything. Write everything you are trusting God to do in your life. Hallelujah, 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 Hallelujah 
Hallelujah. It's a very simple song. Lift your voice and sing it to your maker. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I look at this lady and I see a spirit, a very serious spirit. Hold my hands. The Lord will deliver you huh? from that spirit. Because this is something that wants to destroy your life. Is your sister here? Where's her sister? Is her sister here? Is she here? to pray for both of you because I'm seeing an attack coming to your family there is a spirit that I saw and this is something that has to do with somebody dying hallelujah who is here where is she please let's save time um, very quickly so that we can we have to pray I'm seeing death in your family this is somebody's obituary God wants to avert you can help her hold her baby if she won't cry. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. But you specifically, there is a spirit that torments you. I need to pray for you. Leading you into things that you do not want to do. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Not, not Pastor Femi. Femi. I'm hearing a name, Femi. Femi, who is Femi? Please, if, if I call your case, please just save our time and come quickly. Femi. Your name is Femi? Who is a visitor? You are the one. From where? Come. From where? Jigawa. Eh? Jigawa. From Jigawa State. Yes. Sir. Came from Jigawa State. Yes, sir. The Lord is going to set you on fire and yes, take you back there. You didn't just come yes, sir. just for a meeting. I know you just yes, thought sir. you came to receive. I've called you several times. Sir. Eh? I've called your number several times. You've not been picking. <laughs> you will receive that which you desire. Praise the Lord. Yes. My brother, I'm going to pray for you. Victoria. Victoria. I hear a name Victoria. Please, who is Victoria? Let me just respond. Victoria. Victoria. There is a Victoria trusting God for a change of genotype. Genotype. You're trusting God for a change of genotype. I don't know if it has to do with um, S, S, A, S, anyone like that. This is a Victoria I see. I want to minister to a Victoria that is trusting God for a change of genotype. We have to frustrate. Come. We have to frustrate the power stopping your marriage. Look at me. We have to frustrate the power that is stopping your marriage. Huh? Because it's God's desire for you to settle down soonest. You understand? This is, this is, the devil is not going to lord it over you. We are going to pray. Please, I want you to believe. I don't have to call your case. I'm just flowing because the Holy Spirit is impressing it strongly upon me. And then we'll just get into prayer. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Father, visit this family. 
in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ where is your mother who is sick who is sick in your family my mom because I'm seeing that ah we have to pray I have we have to pray hmm? this is December your mother will just sleep and they will tell you I'm not a prophet of doom they will tell you that she's dead she has been talking about death we have to rebuke this thing she has been seeing dead people in a dream she sleeps and she sees dead people and they'll be stretching their hands towards her and asking her to hold them some of them are people who have died before see there are families here with those things but we are going to deal with it praise the lord father in the name of jesus christ i pray for this family that spirit of death over the family in the name of jesus we roll it away we roll it away by the power of the holy spirit and for you i curse this spirit that is in you in the name of jesus when the time for deliverance comes the lord is going to set you free completely in the name of jesus christ i want to pray for you your hands are blessed listen your hands are blessed god expects you to use your hands to bring wealth to yourself your hands are blessed the lord is saying i should tell you that these hands are blessed hands are you getting what i'm saying you have to pray and trust god for ideas the things that you can do with your hands and it will bless you in the name of the lord jesus christ new level come there is still a time for impartation so you receive it but two things god is giving you number one god is giving you wisdom number two god is giving you stability huh i see you but i see like a wind you are here and there god needs to give you stability father you will give him stability in the name of jesus come my dear i pray for you you will marry a foolish man say amen i curse every spirit delaying her marriage now in the name of jesus christ i rebuke that spirit come um, I have to pray for you hold my hands lord she must be free today today is her day of liberty in the name of jesus christ i rebuke this spirit you must leave her i see you in the spirit out of her right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ my dear do you love jesus very well huh this he wants you to take him very seriously okay? where are you from my dear benway state, benway state. Is, who is here with you my brother. your brother where is he no. brother please can you come i want to speak to him just before we start the ministry, please. what's his name joseph, huh? joseph, Okotu. joseph where are you I hear the Lord saying he's bringing restoration to your family. That's why I want to pray for you. We are going to pray. The Lord is saying I should tell you he will give you beauty for ashes. Huh? You may not understand the meaning of what I'm saying. But as the days unfold you will see God honor you. Father let there be restoration for this family. You are going to be a great man of God. Great man of God. God is going to put a teaching anointing upon you. Supernatural grace for teaching. Supernatural grace for teaching. Father, step into this family and do miracles. In the name of Jesus. Lift your voice in one minute. Let's begin to pray in tongues. Shiva Please rise up on your feet, everybody. Thank you, Father. Because the oppressed will be delivered by the power of the Holy Spirit. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. I want to begin to minister. Deliverance is very important. Very, very important. It's the platform that separates you from the spirits and the influences. You see, sometimes some of you do not even know that your lives are under um, certain levels of 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 bondage but then you will need the grace of god you will need the wisdom of god you will need his grace to give you direction 
and I'm going to pray for you right now my goodness the power of God is strong in this place so many people inside and outside it will surprise some of you because you do not even know now listen this deliverance is not just for individuals in fact God is going to start with families that's what I see God doing hallelujah praise the Lord you've heard this happen again and again I don't know why God does this but the lady is going to shout under the anointing and this is what will introduce that grace a loud shout by the spirit of the living God lift your hands father thank you for your power and your presence in this place right now in the name of Jesus at the count of three I want everyone to shout Jesus from the depth of your heart I challenge every spirit I challenge every voice and every altar oh God that has kept your people bound that has kept families bound there's no place for escape for you tonight Lord I pray that in a mighty way as your people begin to shout you visit them my goodness the power of God is already coming on people at the count of three one two get ready now get ready three fire upon you right now deliverance fire in the name of Jesus receive it receive it help them please help those people right now in the name of Jesus inside and outside I release the power of the Holy Spirit the power of the Holy Spirit right now right now right now right now right now I see the power of God along this region right here where the ministers are staying I see the power of God right now I curse that spirit I challenge every power every fraternity from hell that keeps people bound in the name of Jesus hallelujah lift your hands those outside alone those inside you can relax those outside at the count of three I want you to shout Jesus there are people who are tied to covenants I hear covenants in the spirit people tied to covenants as you shout that name it's like a wind that will blow outside and the power of God will begin to set people free are you ready now at the count of three one two three in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ we release deliverance outside we release mighty deliverance now lift your hands you don't have to shout just keep it lifted hallelujah I'm going to begin to speak and prophesy and for all those who are affected the power of God will begin to touch them bring them out here in the name of Jesus lift your hands now I pray every family here under any spell every family Lord where are they right now let the power of God touch them touch them now 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 right now in the congregation every family under any kind of spell I bring deliverance right now I bring deliverance right now in the mighty name of Jesus I bring deliverance help that lady I bring deliverance right now right now keep your hands lifted right now father identify families that have suffered every cause right now in the name of Jesus all over the congregation inside and outside hallelujah keep your hands lifted no instruments just keep your hands lifted I'm going to pray I see fire rolling in the realm of the spirit now that fire listen that fire is going to come upon individuals I'm hearing stagnation that's what I'm hearing please keep your hands lifted inside and outside Lord wherever those people are get set right now as I speak the fire will burst and begin to touch people stagnation wherever they are shake it it begin to touch them right now by that fire receive it right now right now right now right now 
right now all over the building in the name of jesus christ that spirit of stagnation that has been responsible i see some people being touched outside i see people being touched outside hallelujah this row lift your hands just this row lift your hands the lord is asking me to stretch my hands towards you the moment i stretch my hands the power of god will move in dramatic ways and i'm hearing in my spirit breakthrough that's what is coming please make sure you believe at the count of three i want you to shout jesus it will be a mighty move of the spirit lord i do as you have instructed and at the count of three let there be breakthroughs one two three help them please we command it in the name of jesus bring them out lift your voice and begin to pray every force that has tied down my life you must leave me right now pray as some of you are praying the power of god will be touching you every spirit that is responsible Make sure you are praying. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands. Only the ladies. I want to pray for you. Only the ladies. A woman represents a gate in the spirit. And there are many ladies. Whose gates are tied and closed. But the Bible says to open up the two leaf gates. It will surprise you what will happen to many of you right now. Please keep your hands lifted. Father, I pray in a mighty way. Let every lady's destiny that has been closed at the count of three as they shout Jesus. Let those gates be open. Get set now, ladies. One, two, three. Open now. Open now. Open now. My goodness, I see padlocks opening. That's what I'm seeing in the spirit. Open up those gates in the name of Jesus. Open up those gates. Open up those gates now. Open up those gates now. Open up those gates now in the name of Jesus hallelujah listen lift your voice and violently pray in one minute and command that spirit to leave you go ahead and pray please by the power of the Holy Spirit you must leave my family just keep praying it's a new season by the anointing of the Holy Ghost every unclean spirit attaching itself to our lives hallelujah hallelujah praise the Lord who came with this woman I'm seeing a spirit tying this woman watch this who came with mama out of her hold my hands mama listen she can't walk hold on mommy this woman cannot walk well you see this who don't worry Mom. stroke look at this how many of you believe god can do a miracle for this woman i command the spirit 
right now that spirit leave this woman right now in the name of Jesus she doesn't hear very well too in the name of Jesus I command the ears to be open mommy look at me lift your leg just carry it lift your leg carry it come come walk come 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 look at this walk by yourself come come look at this look at this look at this give Jesus praise give Jesus praise hallelujah listen she doesn't hear very well mama Come on, give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus praise. Come, Mama. Look at this. You know that this is a spirit that has tied this woman. In the name of Jesus Christ, we end captivity. Stretch your hands and pray that the Lord will perfect everything that concerns her. This is somebody's mother. Pray in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. hallelujah mama this mama come your time of breakthrough has come hold on look at what's wrong with you my leg cannot open your leg cannot this open leg, uh, this leg uh, how long for 20 something years 20 how many years uh, it, it's who knows her years. you know you are their son come now you come and stand close to your mother how many years more than 20 years where are you from we are from sabongari mama you believe jesus will touch yes, you sir. i tell you there is nothing jesus cannot do yes, there is the anointing you believe it yes sir say jesus jesus heal me heal me say jesus jesus heal me heal me father you died for this reason right now in the name of jesus christ let there be healing right now look at what is happening to her in the name of Jesus mama hold my hands walk come 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 try to climb now lift your leg try to lift it it didn't used to open before oh I see okay okay go ahead in the name of Jesus Christ lift it and do what you could not do just do it do it open the other one in the name of Jesus God is already giving you a miracle by the power of the Holy Spirit can you see a miracle happening she could not open the leg completely could not open it in the name of Jesus Christ look at look at this God is giving this woman a eh? before she said she, she could not stand for five minutes I cannot stand for five minutes but right now God is touching you your back will be paining you in the name of Jesus Christ, this perfection has started. That backache, I lay my hands and I release the anointing. In the name of Jesus Christ, just keep under the anointing. She will stand up and check herself. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another mother. I don't know why God is visiting our mothers right now. I'm seeing, Mama, please come. Can I talk to you, Ma? Somebody help that woman. Please, don't, if we talk to you, speak whatever language you can speak. There will always be somebody to interpret it. It doesn't have to be that you must speak English. Whose, whose mother is this? Eh? Well done, mommy. What's, what's the issue? What brought her here? She has been complaining of different illness. Mama, what's wrong with you? I got BP. I got BP. This twenty day, my blood will move like this. As friend. I'm looking at our mother, Mama. As I look at you, I'm seeing something like a snake all around your stomach. That thing starts moving. Is that? And then it comes towards your chest area. Uh, then sometimes you feel pain at your back here. Yes, that devil will leave you right now. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. You believe in Jesus? I'm going to pray that God will use this lady. Because I looked at her and I just saw a dove rise from her. You. What's your name? Faith. 
faith. Yes, sir. You will be a woman of faith. You believe that? Let me pray for you. Father, anoint this lady. Let your power come upon her in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray that God will use you mightily. Mama, let's pray for you. Lay your hands on your chest, please. In the name of Jesus Christ, God is healing you right now. High blood pressure, high blood pressure and every other sickness. I rebuke it right now. And I command the spirit that oppresses you to leave. In the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Now, listen. If you know you are involved in anything, whether maybe you have a shop, you are in business, and nothing is working, just lift your hands. I want to pray for those people right now. That's what the Holy Spirit is telling me. Please believe. Why is she out? Come, you're a mother. We can't keep you standing there. Let me just attend to her. Please, you don't have to come out. We'll attend to you. Whose mother is this? My son is outside. Your son? Okay, what's, what can Paul, we do for you? Paul. I'm weak from here downwards. You are weak from? Um, my waist downwards. Downwards. What? You can walk. It's just that the pain is there. The pain, I used to feel pain. I can't see it for long. Unless I lie down, I can't stand for long. Okay, mama, just clear the way. Let mama, you are her son. You're welcome. Let her just sit down there. We'll soon pray for the sick. When it's time, you just bring her there so that you can hurry up. Praise the Lord. Uh, please, you don't have to come out. We are going to... Listen, listen. We are going to pray. We'll invite people to come out now. Are, I'm going to pray for the sick. I'll lay hands on all of you. Praise the Lord. So that we can just hurry up. If we do it one by one like this, we may not have all the time. Um, but why, why is she... Uh, my problem... You are eating the dream. Yes. Food, you mean? One year now. For one year, non stop. Last month, on today's 15 days, my stomach, with my back, in the pain. I know this sleep. I know we eat. Last, uh, last week, uh, Friday, I enter hospital. They give me medicine. I don't take all the medicine. Never stop. We we'll pray Jesus Christ will set you free in the name of Jesus. Mama, you too, just go and sit down there. Please, no, our mothers, don't worry. When we start praying for the sick, this is what we'll do. We may give room so that we we'll start with some of our elderly ones so that they can go back. They may not have that strength. Will that be fine? So as you line up, if you see any elderly man or woman, you can just push them forward so that we minister to them and then they can go and sit down. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. But lift your hands now. I want to release breakthrough. I mean, I, I mentioned the case right now. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. And I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. I will praise him. I will sing to him a new song. And I will praise him. Every force, Kabbalah, Tabarada. Keep your hands lifted. That has tied down your business. All the works of your hands. Some of you will feel fire on your hand. Literal fire. It will start burning on your hands right now. In the name that is above all names. I pray. As that fire comes on your hand. Ideas begin to come to you. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it now in the name of Jesus. It's already happening to people right now. It's happening to people. The fire is coming on people. Help this brother, please. The fire is coming on people right now. Your hands, ideas, ideas.
this fire represents ideas receive it right now receive it right now in the mighty name of Jesus hallelujah praise the Lord now as we pray for the sick I know there are many people here who are sick please be orderly as you come while that is happening every prayer request please pass it over to the ushers you have your prayer request you can use the time to call some of your loved ones by the way when we begin to prophesy for some of you who have your loved ones at home you can put on the phone and connect with them honestly if they have the faith to receive and they believe they'll be surprised at what happens to them you are trusting god for a healing miracle make your way to the front now and begin to pray there is a god that heals here yes mama please don't cry can you get a handkerchief please help our mother with this handkerchief please. please make your way to the front it's called a miracle service look how many people are trusting God for healing forward all the elderly ones to the front please all our elderly ones looked around and I realized that you've been so good to me All of us standing here, can we begin to talk to the Lord and say, Father, peace in me. Who am I that you are mindful of me? Who am I that you hear my cry when I call you? How can I love you more, know you more? source of my strength now you the strength of my life my hope and my joy my confidence now you you're the source of my life the strength of my life my hope and my joy my confidence show you look at this oh my god put the camera here look at this can you see this person bring the person here look at this this is death already look at this i think you can can they see it on camera look at this you know that this is this is this is already this is an obituary who is her mother this is her mother crying who is her mother? Why did the mother stay outside now and bring? The... Oh, she went to bring Matt. They brought the girl on. His... What's wrong with her? She has been sick for over six months now, but they have been not. They have not ever been. No diagnosis. You will look at her and think it's HIV. Brothers and sisters, hear me. When a spirit enters a man, it leaves out his character through that person. Okay, let's let's hear from the mother, please. What language can she speak? Kurama. Who is Kurama here? Huh? You are, please. Don't can she speak Hausa? Mama Ki Hausa? Rabuda Suki Hausa? We will never put pressure on anybody. If she can't speak Hausa, she should speak her language. 
um, what is wrong with her? What's the issue with the baby? Uh huh. that you um, cancer. Cancer. Uh huh. Eight. Eight. Uh -huh. Cancer. The eight took her. And Basr. The man. Basr. What's that? Uh -huh. Pile cancer HIV. Uh -huh. Look at this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tell her she brought. She brought her expecting. No, no, no. Don't worry. Don't worry. Tell her she came expecting Jesus to touch her. Kinzo oh, kina. Kana osa. So say. Kede inani. Kasuna. Kede kasina shine buke here osa. But is that not your language? Mama kare kita mu. We are going to pray for her now. Oh, we are going to pray for her. Just clear the way. Can she hear? Kana ji. Eh. How old is she? Help her. She, she. You would think this girl is, is 10 years. She's 30 years. 30 solid years. Supposed to be married, right? With her children. She's married. With two children. Oh my God. Huh? Mama? Okay. This is cancer, HIV, at a terminal state. The source of my strength, now you. Strength of my life, now you. My open, my joy, hey, my confidence. Source of my life, strength of my life, my open, my joy. My dear, can you speak English? Can you speak English? No, don't worry. Can you hear me? You can hear me. You believe Jesus can touch you? Do you believe that? Don't cry. Don't cry. Jesus is able to touch you. Father, show this lady mercy. In the name of Jesus, I curse that devil by the blood of Jesus Christ I command that spirit of infirmity that devil of HIV that devil of cancer I command you to leave her in the name of Jesus Christ I will ask you people to help her get up eventually my dear look at me look at me in the name of Jesus Christ I release strength to you strength to you strength to you try to move your hands or your leg go ahead try to move your hand or your leg if you can do you have enough strength for that can she hear me she's so weak she can't even hear me it's well just leave her to lie down with the glory as i pray for all that i mean she's so weak she cannot even make anything God, the devil is wicked listen i assure you that whatever it is What's that? Okay, the request. Don't worry. We'll pray for you. Hallelujah. Just leave her to soak in the glory here while she gets some strength and we'll try to lift her up and see what happens. Father, I pray for everyone here. Let the power of God touch them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone came. Please be patient. You don't have to rush. The Lord himself will touch you. You came for a reason. In the name of Jesus Christ. You don't have to tell me what is wrong with you. If I ask you, you can tell me, but it doesn't matter. The spirit of death is on this woman. Mama, look at me. Oh, What's wrong with that? I broke myself. You brought yourself. Yes. What's wrong with you, madam? Now, since where would they for Abuja? Now, the bubble, where the bomb will blow. So what? I'm I'm selling something for Nyanya. Yeah. I'm selling food with yeah. you. Where bomb will blow for that side? Bomb. And, oh, uh, bomb blast. Yes, I now fall down. I no, I cannot get out. They're telling me go hospital. Oh, the bomb blast that happened in Nyanya. Yes. 
So, it affected you. Uh, so I can't get up. They carry me go hospital. So, uh, I spent four months. Go no go. They carry me go flying place. He collected uh, fifty thousand. Go no they go. They carried you go where? Uh, flying man. May go treat me. The oh. hospital no figure. A doctor. Oh, have a list. Uh, okay. Flani man. It's okay. The flying man collected fifty thousand. You know, I've said it again. Please hear me. Listen, let me let me press it down. Any man, I don't care who, who tells you to bring money to get a miracle, even if it's me, run away. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Mama, our mothers, I'm begging you in the name of Jesus Christ. Any man, any priest, any prophet, any pastor, any apostle, any human being, herbalist, whoever that asks you to give him money so that you give him miracle, tell him Joshua Selman said he's a thief. He's not a man of God. Are we together? I will start the cure the team. The, if you give me medicine, I drink, I will bring bad, bad dream in the night. So, tell her that four months ago, no go. The man now tell me to bring 30,000 again. I said, I'm not even see food. That should bring 30,000 again. Uh, I'm not see food to to my children again now. And I'll start the bed with my no grief. That mommy, I'm a girl for. I saw my room before. We mommy, for what, what? Now I can't saw my room here. Yeah. Come and say, come and I work up for prayer to prayer. But I didn't hear prayer for you. When they say, I come, I know they, I know they come. I'll just lie down. They feel pain every time. Do you know that there are spirits that stop men from going to the place of their breakthrough? Have you seen people that you try to bring for koinonia? On your way going, they just change their mind. It's not them. There is a spirit. I tell you that you make your way here alone. It's a sign that God is ready to visit you. Okay, what 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 exactly? I must enter today. I must enter as I just uh, come out for road. The machine just come. You say where the go? I send at this church. He says, Oh, make them come, make them go in Opa. Welcome the usher people. Say where well, they go, they go to my I say, I know people waka. These people can serve God, then then carry me from machine down. They hold my hand. God Sorry, bless our me. ushers. I sit down. When I sit down, finish. They come, they address me. They make no hurry to enter. So, and now when they start to play, I enter through gate. That I just stand up with my, with my Now this hand, they just stand because all this side, you know. And now softly stand up. Uh, stand. God, come give me. I come the strength. strength my power, my what power. what part of your body is not working very well? Yes. What part? Oh, your oh, I see, Father. It's, it's okay, Madam, Ma Mama. Uh, we, we get what is wrong with you now. Eh? In Jesus' name, we we'll pray for you. If she couldn't walk, oh, there is a spirit at work in you. That spirit will leave you now. I command that devil leave her. You think it's bomb blast, but oh, she could not walk, oh. They had to carry her and now she's even standing. That's even a miracle. In the name of Jesus. Madam, look at me. Hold my hands. I minister strength to you. Look at me. Come. Come. Help her. In the name of Jesus. Walk. I will hold you. Walk. Okay, look at me. Look at me. Start walking by yourself. Come. Came on a bike. Could not walk. Come. Slowly. Just take it slowly. Look at this. You can see that it's happening gradually. Gradually. These hands were paralyzed. Madam, look at me. Try to lift it up. Go ahead. Go ahead. Lift it. Lift it. Lift it. Look at this. Lift it. Lift it. Drop it down. Lift it again. Lift it again. Completely paralyzed. Completely paralyzed. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. A miracle is happening. Do what you couldn't do. The devil is a liar. The more you take that step of faith, the more you see God stepping in. Father, this miracle is perfected in her body in the name of Jesus Christ. God bless you. Just keep exercising her. We'll have to pray. Please, any special case will minister at our time is gone. I saw the spirit of death. She was supposed to die in that bomb blast. I didn't even know it was Nyanya bomb blast. That Boko Haram bomb blast. May you never be a victim of any man's wickedness. In the name of Jesus Christ.
the moment i pray for you please as you return back check yourself and do what you couldn't do before if it's a striking striking testimony we'll just take it here worship team lead us through sessions of worship as we pray in the name of jesus christ thank you jesus short of blood I look at you sir and your face has changed to the face of a cat this is what licks your blood this is what I'm seeing this is demonic you understand what I'm saying there was a time you had a dream and a dog was following you dog dog was pursuing you and I need to pray for you because this is a manifestation of the spirit of death in the name of Jesus Christ I command that spirit that devil of darkness to leave Please stand in and connect for your loved ones. We have so many people. Let's see how far we can. stretch your hands at this baby and let's close this hole in the name of Jesus you will have a child make sure you are praying one month two weeks a hole in his heart if God does not step in this baby will either die or something will happen I tell you we are the church of the Lord Jesus Christ we can agree father we reject this we reject this as you are rejecting it for this child so it will be your life reject it lord your church is praying we change this report baby we speak to you baby you will not die you will not die you will not die we close this hole hallelujah 
go and check him don't cry don't cry eh? you are not going to lose your baby in the name of Jesus Christ amen we are going to pray it's going to be very very fast as I lay my hands on you just it's just a touch there is a reason why I'm doing this myself and I lay hands on you just a touch the Lord is wiping your tears the Lord is wiping your tears and not just because you are crying physically this woman is coming with so much pains the Lord is wiping your tears now in the name of Jesus out of her that demon that causes pain in the name of Jesus Christ
presence of Yahweh. Out. And Out. Under the shadow. And cause that spirit. You must let her go now. Because in your presence is liberty. submit the prayer request ushers you can begin to bring the prayer request forward please everybody inside and outside make sure you don't miss this next session because that's where you get to receive your personal breakthrough so please forward the prayer request if you still have yours just lift it up and an usher will come to you quickly please guys let's do this very fast so that we can finish as hands have been laid on you i just want you to believe that god is touching you
Stretch your hands. Do, do we have all the prayer? Please stand up, everybody. We are wrapping up. Inside and outside. If you are yet to drop your prayer request, please make sure you send it. We believe this is this is it's not a religious activity. It's an instruction that God gave us. Because you see, no matter how I lay hands on everybody one by one, we may not have all the time for everybody to state what their needs are. But then let me tell you something. The truth about it is that I'm not the most important person in this meeting. There is one who is mightier than I. You didn't write this request to Joshua Selman, I will not even read one of them. This is unto the God who can solve problems. Mommy, please come. Yes. I've been looking at this woman and I've been wondering what it is that God, what would you want God to do for you? Would you 
give me a quality spouse. To give you a quality spouse. This is what I'm looking at this woman and my heart has been drawn to her for a while. Madam, you want to get married. Because you are not afraid and ashamed to say this in the presence of the people. Look at me. I stake my reputation on this prophecy that I will give you. You hear me? If a man does not come to marry you, go and publish it in the newspaper that I lied. Do you believe what I'm saying? I will not implicate myself and be a fool like this. Because as soon as I looked at you, you said spouse. I saw a man putting a ring in your hand. That's why I'm telling you what I'm saying. You believe this? Be sure to return and give the testimony. And everybody be sure to look at her. You are seeing her today. When she comes back with her husband, so you don't say that this is stage manage. Father, in the name of Jesus, I prophesy it by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, just cover her. I'm going to pray. Let me have, okay, it's Prof's water. I wish there's any other one just to pray on it and then they'll give her. She's too weak. We can't even test her whether or not. But I see her moving her legs and moving all of this. This is ordinary. Okay, this is ordinary water. We'll just pray on it. Since that's the only thing. She can a child, she? But a child, she? Say me. Roa. Roa ka bata kada. Tozan ya dua ko. E sexa jana bata. Ache yenzu da sati da. Ana bata kada. Father, I pray that this water will lose its earthly significance and take on a heavenly significance. That as she takes this, oh God, let this be um, a cleansing agent. Let it be like a drug in her body. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can she hear you? Ask her how she's feeling now. I'm sorry, I forget this. Thing. So I'm like, yeah, you see she's gaining some strength she couldn't move before but we see her gaining some strength Uncle you don't can you see her gaining some strength she's even moving she's pushing her away Same issue. something is happening to her look at this are you seeing? Look at this. Look at this by herself. Oh. This is the power of the Lord. This in itself is a miracle. If you saw the way they brought her. Mama, brother, the Holy Spirit is doing something in her life. My dear, as God grants you grace, you can just be moving your body gradually. We, we prayed on this. And um, Mama Gashi, Abata, Bakuaban is a shark, Amata Dua, the Wasa San Abata. If you keep it there, all these children will come and take you. Thank you, Jesus. Stretch your hands on this prayer request as we pray. Let's pray on this request. Hallelujah. Please stretch your hands and let's ask the Lord to visit us. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. This is the greatest point of contact to your requests. Father, we are praying right now in the name of Jesus. We are praying by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let there be a miracle. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. I'm seeing the Lord giving people miracles of jobs. Jobs. I see employment of jobs. I see a family that dropped a request here. Something about building a house. And it looks like you will not complete it. The Lord is saying before December 25th, you will enter that house. Please pray. Father, visit me. Talk to the Lord. Tell him your request is here. Sha 
Let there be miracles, oh God. Let there be miracles in the name of Jesus. every request here to a testimony in the name of Jesus Christ requests of marriages may they be granted some of you have dropped requests here because the admission list came out and you did not see your name Lord we agree I don't know how you would do it but we agree that there be miracles In the name of Jesus. Lord, we release breakthroughs. We release all kinds of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please lift your hands as I prophesy. Everyone. I have grown to respect the power of prophecy. I know that for many of you if I tell you which will you choose to prophesy over your life or to lay hands on you you would prefer the laying on of hands because it looks like there is a physical contact not so prophecy is powerful very powerful please I want you to shout amen from the depth of your heart this is where you get to receive everything shout amen this is where the fire gets to fall on your life this is where everybody participates in the name of jesus christ I command breakthroughs to come into your life supernatural breakthrough receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. please lay your hands on your head I pray father mm, this will come mighty on some of you a baptism of the spirit of wisdom Receive it now in the name of Jesus. Receive it, receive it, receive it, receive it now. Now, wisdom, help him please. Wisdom in the powerful name of Jesus. Supernatural wisdom. Understanding. Receive the impartation. Wisdom in business. Wisdom in career. Receive it in the name of Jesus. I pray for anyone who is confused here trusting God for direction in the name of Jesus may the force of God come to you and bring you direction in the name of Jesus Christ everything you have tried and tried to do and have not been able to do I speak over your life go back and do it again go back and do it again in the name of Jesus the kind of favor you have not seen from January till now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ may that favor come upon your life may that favor come upon your life receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus Where are the helpers who are supposed to help your destiny and have refused to locate you? Wherever they are, everybody in life needs a helper. 
to move to the next level between you and the next level is the ministry of a helper right now everything that has died in your hands i don't care what it is i'm prophesying to you everything that has died in your hands by the anointing of the holy spirit that same voice that called lazarus from the grave right now calls that dying business from the grave calls that dying destiny from the grave in the name of jesus christ everything that is dead in your life comes alive now hallelujah every spirit that torments you and your family in any way in dreams in visions i declare right now they are silenced forever in your life they are silenced forever in your life anyone trusting god for a job or you are standing in for someone trusting god for a job those hands that are lifted in the name of jesus the same way they are lifted above your head that's how they'll be lifted above joblessness in the name of jesus i release jobs by the power of the holy spirit whatever has covered your glory so that it is not seen and celebrated in the name of the lord god of israel i command that veil be torn into pieces every one of your family members that has been locked up by satan and stagnated in one place we release them right now 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 in the name of jesus christ anyone here being eyed by the spirit of death the devil is already planning that you and your family will celebrate christmas in tears we come with a prophetic word and we declare that death cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus death is cancelled in the name of jesus I pray for every business in this place every business every shop every enterprise receive the wisdom of god receive the strength of god in the name of jesus christ between now and next week koinonia i pray that everyone will return with at least one testimony in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I pray for your spiritual life whatever has died in your life spiritually I command a restoration right now restoration of prayer life restoration of word life in the name of Jesus Christ every discouragement in your life and every voice that keeps speaking to you that you will never make it any devil speaking to you that you will be like those who have failed we silence that voice right now by the blood of Jesus every legal access satan has over anyone's life we declare that that access is broken in jesus name everyone called barren we bring that barrenness to an end biological barrenness financial barrenness in the name of jesus christ where you have failed go back and succeed where they have ignored you go can be celebrated in the name of jesus listen i prophesy to you 
you will operate in a level of grace a level of grace that will cause men to look at you like a wonder i speak it upon your life in the name of jesus christ the same grace that can make a man become an object of discussion the grace that can make a man become an object of wonder may it come upon your life i pray for your dreams and visions all the ideas god has been trying to bring that the devil has hijacked in the spirit we command that they must be released they must be released we release the ideas we release the concepts we release the insights in the name of jesus from today i declare that as you speak it may you see it as you speak it may your hands handle it for those who are trusting god for restoration i pray for you i don't know what you have lost i command a tenfold restoration hallelujah believe what i'm telling you some of you it will do you like a dream it will be like you just woke up and say no i'm not the one may it happen to you in the name of jesus christ someone will call you and tell you they have been trying to reach you for a long time just to bless you in the name of jesus christ listen some of you will be sitting quietly in your house that's how favor will come and meet you and take you to another level in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i bring to an end every struggle in your life by the anointing of the holy spirit i pray for every pastor every leader here grace for the next level those of you who have come from other places take the fire and take it back to your regions take the fire and take it back to your regions in the name of jesus christ nothing dies in your hands nothing becomes barren in your hands in the name of jesus christ favor on all sides blessings on all sides in the mighty name of jesus christ hallelujah now very quickly we're out of time please keep standing everybody there are people here who are saying lord jesus i'm committing my life and my all to you please keep standing everybody no movements around there are people inside and outside here you came for this meeting and you have seen what the lord jesus christ has done and you are saying lord i want to surrender my life i've been living my life the way i want but i want to hand it over to you tonight some of you are giving your life to christ for the first time some of you are rededicating your life you said I've, I've come out once but something has happened in my life wherever you are in the next one minute i know many people outside those inside please join them come out here and i will lead you to give your life to jesus christ wherever you are young old don't sit down wait for anybody koinonia celebrate them make your way to the front don't be embarrassed this is what jesus can do with your life you've given people who are less than him your life why don't you commit everything i know this is not all there are still people inside and outside please make your way quickly god bless you as you come make your way quickly hallelujah while the rest join them god bless you keep coming quickly please hurry up and join them catch up with them it's a decision that will change your life forever we may not know who you are but we know where you are going because with jesus your journey is secured you've lived your life anyhow and you're saying i'm tired of playing games with god i want to make it right there is always room for you the throne is where you start from hallelujah praise the lord jesus i want you to lift your right hand and say after me lord jesus please say it very seriously say lord jesus i love you with all my heart i believe in you tonight i surrender my life completely to you take everything about me use me for your glory in the name of jesus i receive eternal life into my spirit from today i'm not the same person again the power of sin is broken over my life in jesus name father i pray for these ones whose hands are lifted bless them 
they have made a decision for you they remain in you forever give them a new life in the name of jesus christ may the lord bless you in the name of jesus now i'd like you to follow the ushers they are waving their hands they'll have your details and they'll welcome you more warmly very quickly madam we're finished praying tap that madam she can follow them hallelujah praise the lord now all those who are worshiping with us for the first time very quickly one minute make your way to the front we want you to go back with an anointing and with a blessing honor them koinonia they are the result of your prayers our mothers our fathers our brothers and sisters thank you so much thank you so much they are the result of our prayers our commitment we prayed and asked the lord to bring you and bless you look how many people god is bringing come on celebrate jesus hallelujah now, very quickly, thank you. dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Salaska de Bashkana Kata Branda Kateka Kosh. Kate Branda Kata Bakotosko to break a take and the The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.